Hello everyone, welcome to Healing Moon Tarot. This is your weekly reading, weekly singles love reading for Virgo. How are you guys, Virgo? Hope you're well. See what's happening in your love life single Virgo. So this week I'm just using one deck. I'll go back to the two decks, two part readings uh, next Monday. I also put readings up for those of you who don't know every Thursday. Are there any aspect of your life? So right now, we're going to focus on single Virgos looking for love. New love prospects and connections for single Virgos. Oops, too many. Oh, these cards are big. Single Virgos. There we go. This one wants to come out. Okay, you have a new opportunity. So the seed's being planted. It could be a communication. It could be a gift. It's something solid, something reliable. So it's a start of something. Like the little seed being planted. Yeah, I see a little obsession, a little devil energy. But it's this deck is interesting. I love it because it is an, uh, this devil energy is somebody breaking free from something that's holding them back. So somebody is no longer holding back. They're breaking free. Could be a karmic cycle. Okay. Uh, could be just a healing. Uh, could be some kind of obsession. Okay, whatever it is, it's, I feel there's an energy of someone breaking free from the things that are holding them back. Unhealthy habits, obsessions, whatever it is, drinking uh, too much, eating too much, whatever the situation. Okay, so there it is. So it's an energy of uh, giving, I give and receive for the universal good. So it's an energy of reciprocity. So this is two people. Uh, reciprocating you see there's somebody here I feel they it's an energy of somebody wanting to start something okay it's solid it's reliable and it has to do whether you're going to reciprocate okay it's for the greater good <laughs> it's for both people here so we'll see I'm gonna get too carried away till I clarify these ones yeah five of Pentacles so it's an energy of somebody who you know, it's feeling a little left out in the cold, feeling alone. Uh, so it's an energy of someone reaching out. I feel like this is someone who wants to reach out. They're feeling a little bit lonely, okay? So always remember when you feel like the Five of Pentacles where you're feeling lonely, you feel like there's no hope, uh, whatever it is, a sense of loss, financial issues, always ask for help. It's an energy of help being on the way, okay? Could be somebody coming in, reaching out for some kind of help, hoping that you'll reciprocate as well. Yeah. But I feel it's an energy of someone who's, like I say, it's an energy of someone who's feeling lonely, feeling lost, I feel for the most part here. Feeling a little left out in the cold, okay? But it's an energy of someone who's breaking free. So there's the seven of cups. So it's an energy of someone who's, there's definitely been a lot of slow moving energy. A lot of focus on money, uh, finance, things like that, but it's very slow. So I have the seven of cups here. So this is a person I feel is uh, about to make a choice. Somebody is looking at choices and options. So it's an energy of someone who sometimes procrastinates. That's why things are moving slow. So it's a person who needs to make a choice. So it's, you know, it's just a, a situation where there's someone here has a lot of options looking at all the possibilities here. It also could be someone who's just obsessively in love here. <laughs> okay, and they're fantasizing. Yeah, feeling a little bit lonely, but it's it's an energy where they need to, somebody needs to make a decision here. They need to reach out, okay? But it's, it's whether or not the other person reciprocates. That's the issue. So, yeah. So it's about taking a risk. It could be someone here is feeling a little bit like a fool, okay, for not making a choice. Uh, but it, it does, it is an energy of being guided, okay? Somebody uh, being guided to take a leap of faith, to take that risk. It has to do with uh, a person's path. Uh, there's something really interesting here about this energy. Yeah, and there we have the Four of Wands. So now there's definitely an energy of commitment, a relationship energy, a strong financial foundation, but there's a reason to celebrate because I feel this is uh, an energy of someone who's breaking out of that uh, devil energy, whatever it is, and they're going to reach out. They're hoping the other person uh, takes the risk. See, it's an energy of someone taking a risk. And we have ah, 10 of cups. So yeah, it's about emotional fulfillment, happiness, a little happily ever after, but it's also an energy of before you take a leap of faith, uh, it's about looking at this. It's about looking at the bigger picture. Okay. So, yeah. I think you got someone who's um, so definitely some Capricorn energy. So there's definitely a lot of focus on finances. 
<laughs> Someone here has got some Capricorn energy. Yeah, and I, I, I feel it's just like I say, it's energy of some kind of obsession. Yeah, but it's an, it's got, I do see the breaking free, but the interesting part is the Six of Pentacles, the reciprocity. It's giving and receiving for the universal good for both people. Both people have to reciprocate. Someone needs to take a risk, okay? Someone needs to take that leap of faith. Why? Because they're going to be left out in the cold. It's someone who's feeling lonely, feeling lost, feeling like they're good enough. There could be some kind of insecurities. Maybe somebody was feeling insecure. They now feel like a fool. Uh, definitely looks like you know this person, okay? But it, like I say, it could be someone who's f finally deciding to reach out. They've been a little obsessed. So ready to take a risk. Oh, I need one more card here, Virgo. Let's just give this a shuffle. One more card for Virgo, singles in their love life. There we go, yeah. So there it is. There's the strength, a little Leo energy. So it's finding the strength and the confidence. See, this is someone who needs to take a risk. They need to find the strength and confidence to reach out, okay, to ask for what it is that they want. Why? Because they feel left out in the cold or there's some kind of insecurities. There's definitely a risk involved, but there's always a risk in love, you know. There's always a little bit of a risk. There's definitely fantasizing, but it's about making a choice. See, somebody's making some kind of a choice. They're looking at all the options, all the possibilities, how this could play out, and they're going to go for it. Tell me about the Ace of Pentacles. Yeah, see, someone's been procrastinating. That's why I say it's someone back and forth in their head, obsessing, you see. One minute they feel, okay, I'm going to go for it. The other person, sure, they're going to reciprocate right? The next minute they're like, oh no, I don't know. So it's an obsession, okay? It's definitely not a healthy situation to be in, but a lot of people, you know, when they really like somebody, they get into that energy. So let's see what this devil energy. It's also an energy of someone who acts like they don't care, but they do, okay? Why? Because if they reach out and the other person doesn't go for it, they're going to feel like a fool. So they kind of act like they don't care, so sometimes I see that, like the devil may care in my uh, romantic tarot deck. So there it is. See, this is how someone conducts themselves. They, they, they lack the faith in themselves to make a decision. You see, it has to do with commitment. It's about two people being on the same page. And this person, like I see, they, they don't have the confidence, you know. But I feel they're going to. I think they're going to take this leap of faith here. They're going to find that strength and confidence to do it. Why? Because it's it's about building this foundation. This is building a foundation, a relationship, a commitment. There's a reason to celebrate. There's a lot of emotional fulfillment. You don't know until you try. Um, so there's that six of pentacles. Yeah, see, it's about financial security, stability. But it's an energy of someone planning for success. we got someone with a little bit of an ego. It's an energy of someone who's used to people reaching out, used to being chased. So they're kind of back and forth in their head here. Uh, will this be successful? Will I get what I want? Or am I going to end up feeling like a fool? This is someone's ego is getting in the way. They don't want to feel like a fool. So they're going to sit there in that five of pentacles for a little bit until they uh, stop procrastinating and make a decision. It's about just look at the possibilities. See, there's a lot of seven of cups, ten of cups. It's looking at the possibilities, you see. There we got someone in. Oh, yeah, they're in their head. A little um, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy or someone who's just in their head. Okay. Yeah. This is someone who has a habit of procrastinating. They have a habit of obsessing over something they want to be successful but there's always that energy where the other person won't reciprocate if they reach out it's really just ego someone doesn't want to feel like a fool um because i see them in their head strategizing and thinking this is someone who i don't know feel they feel like they're not good enough or they feel like they're lacking or whatever the situation but it's a person who's lonely you know this is someone who's over analyzing a situation tell me about the seven of cups here we go. Yeah, see, there it is. Look at the possibilities. The dating card, reaching out to someone. It's someone exploring their feelings and emotions. See, it's about looking at it like an adventure and just going for it. That's what I always, I see that energy a lot with the 
Uh, the victory card, the six of wands, because it's an energy of someone who one minute they feel like they're, you know, they're going to have this victory. Everything's all good. The next minute, oh, maybe not because they're analyzing it too much. But it's really about exploring their feelings and emotions, just reaching out, taking action. They're going to take some kind of action here. Yeah, this action does it definitely has that risk factor. <laughs> but it's about going down this path. You know, it's being guided. Yeah, so we have definitely have uh, some Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy. So we definitely have someone who knows what they want here, someone who doesn't settle. So it has to do with someone taking a risk. So maybe somebody took a risk before, okay, and it wasn't successful. So now the other person needs to take a risk. <laughs> it's about talking and communicating. It's about giving and receiving. So, you know, one thing we know about the Queen of Rods, um, and this could even be yourself, you know, you could be in that energy where you're kind of standing up for yourself. You're focused on your, your beliefs, right? You're, you know exactly what you want. You're not one to settle, you see. Uh, definitely it's an energy of someone who's nobody's option. If somebody here has a lot of options and choices, uh, the Queen of Rods doesn't settle. Uh, it's also an energy of someone, if they, you know, somebody doesn't give them attention or they start giving attention to someone else. You know, that's what I feel. Someone's changed their focus. They're now focused on someone else. And that's what I feel this person's afraid to reach out. Okay. They're afraid to reach out. The other person won't reciprocate. It won't be a victory. But it's all about the adventure. Definitely Sag energy. Someone who's been playing the field, dated a lot of people, likely hasn't had a lot of success. So they're become a little apprehensive, you know, and start procrastinating. Tell me about the Four of Wands. Yeah, there it is. See, it's about investing. It's about being patient. Uh, the Four of Wands is... Uh, marriage commitment, a strong financial foundation. It's a reason to celebrate. So this could be, uh, you know, an opportunity to date. Somebody maybe, could be possible too. Someone's looking at all the possibilities that, you know, they're kind of procrastinating and back and forth about where to go, what to do on this date. It could be that simple for someone. Uh, but I can definitely see this uh, Seven of Pentacles. It has to do with timing, waiting for the right time, waiting for the right opportunity. But it has to do with being patient. It has to do with investing in building this foundation. See, this is somebody here who won't invest in someone who has other options. They need to show that they're invested. It's about things starting off on the right foot. Okay, it's about building that foundation, building it on a solid foundation. So this person needing to put their best foot forward. So we have the Ten of Cups. Yeah, and this one wants to come out, yeah. So we have a little Cancer Pisces energy here. So feel like what we have is a little, a bit of a, a tug of war here. Uh, but it's an energy of somebody who's wanting something to be successful. Someone's trusting their intuition, you see. Someone already knows everything they need to know. It has to do with that emotional fulfillment. It's an energy of two people putting all their cups on the table. But it's about the bigger picture too. It's about investing in a relationship, building that foundation. Someone's definitely trying to control their emotions, trying not to be ruled by their emotions here. I think someone here already knows that energy. The high priestess is someone who's, this is someone who's very intuitive. Someone who, you know, into me I see goes within themselves. So it's an energy of success and control. So it's about letting go of control. Yeah. Someone's definitely taken their power back here because I feel someone here has already taken a risk. Someone, that Queen of Rods energy has already taken a risk. And the other person, uh, maybe there was a lack of reciprocity. There was a false victory. So this is someone who wants a victory, but they're, you know, I, like I say, it wasn't, I, I feel like it's already, something's already happened where someone came in looking for attention, thinking they were going to get a victory, but the way they conducted themselves, there's something about the way they conducted themselves. There's definitely a need for communication, being on the same page. It's an energy of the school of hard knocks. Someone's learning the hard way here, you know, but the, the overanalyzing is certainly not, uh, serving somebody's purpose here because it's all it does is create a lot more confusion and the queen of wands is nobody's option okay so if someone has other options they give attention to other people it's you know yeah next right so 
we have the strength card. Let's see what this is all about. Definitely a lot of fire energy here. A lot of passionate, fiery energy. Aries, Leo, Sag. Maybe even Scorpio energy. Oops, there we go. Yeah, so we have the Queen of Cups. Look at that. Oh, yeah. See, this is someone who wants emotional fulfillment. The Queen of Cups wants reciprocity. If there's no reciprocity, then, you know, this is someone trusting their intuition. Someone taking their power back. So I feel we got someone here who's not being ruled by their emotions. So someone who's already taken a risk. They've already sacrificed. They've already given. Now they're waiting and somebody is waiting to receive. Someone's waiting to receive here. Someone may have a lot of options here as well. I can see you know, the Queen of Rods, uh, the Queen of Cups. Could be all the same energy. It could even be yourself. But it's possible there's some kind of a choice. Somebody who's, you know... Getting attention from other people, no longer reaching out to somebody because they're... And a lot of times it's someone who, another person comes in and makes them an offer. So uh, they go for it, right? Uh, but I feel for most of you, it's really an energy of this person, someone taking their power back, trusting their intuition. The Queen of Cups is waiting, waiting for reciprocity. But it's also a person who's trusting their intuition about the bigger picture, about emotional fulfillment. Yeah, tell me about this. Where is it going? Yeah, see, it's all to do with commitment, a reason to celebrate. So this could just start out as an invitation or a date. But I can, one thing I can say, there's someone who's already taken a risk. Someone's already taken that leap of faith. They've already sacrificed. So... Uh, I feel it's an energy of the other person having to take that risk now <laughs> uh, to reach out. Yeah. One's waiting for reciprocity here. So yeah, slow and steady wins the race. This could be yourself just taking your time, looking at the details, uh, planning for something to be successful, hoping it. But it's still there's still an energy of someone who's apprehensive. They're kind of back and forth. I feel like it could be yourself. You're back and forth in your head. On and off, on and off. Will this be successful? Will they reciprocate? Do they feel the same? Back and forth. Yeah. Little seesaw energy. And a lot of it has to do with investing in this foundation. Uh, waiting for the right time. So I do see there's somebody here who's been very patient. Someone's been very patient here. But it's about someone showing that they're invested by building the foundation. That's what's happening here. Yeah, see, it has to do with success and truth, a victory. So it's a win or lose situation, but you never know till you try. Okay, you never know till you try. Tell me more about the Queen of Rods. Yeah, so there's definitely a choice. Uh, there's definitely this bond, this physical connection, but it's about two people who build each other up, you see. And so there's definitely... Um, Someone here having a choice. Someone has other options. So I do see an energy of next. Yeah, but it's, it's somebody who's making choices in love. Somebody who's taken a risk in love before. And I feel it's a person, like I say, they've already sacrificed. I don't think this person's taking this risk. I think they are you know, actually know what they want and they're not settling. They want love. They want a bond and they want a connection. You know, this is definitely not somebody who wants anyone else involved. Okay, they're not, this is, they're, this is somebody who doesn't want anyone's op, uh, they're nobody's option, put it that way. So I do see an energy of next. Somebody is waiting patiently, but I feel like the energy is someone seeing the truth. There's that, uh, someone going within, seeing the truth. This is someone dragging their feet, taking along, taking too long, trying to control everything. This person's going to lose control, okay? Someone's going to lose control here because of it. Tell me about this King of Swords. Yeah, so it's an energy of change. So it's an energy of change and uh, moving on here. So someone's thinking of moving on. They've already, maybe someone already has moved on here. But it's also an energy of someone coming back around. You see, uh, there's a need for some kind of change. And it has to do with the way someone's conducting themselves, the way they behave. Someone who comes in looking for attention. See, the... Queen of Pentacles isn't interested in just giving somebody attention, you see. Yeah. 
it's just, it's kind of sad because I see this being successful. I do see the possibilities of this being a success, a victory, the truth, you know, but it's a win or lose situation. You never know till you try, till you take a risk. This person here needs to take a risk. This Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy, or this person is in their head overanalyzing. It's an energy of obsession. This is somebody you, like I say, it's, you know, it's their crazy about somebody but they're back and forth in their head driving themselves crazy creating more confusion yeah see there it is this is an energy of investing in something new and this is what's going to happen is somebody here is going to start possibly start something new move on because they're waiting for someone who's moving too slow it's an energy of somebody who's losing patience and i can tell you about that queen of wands aries leo sag scorpio Anybody with that uh, fire energy only waits for so long and then it's next, like I said. It's a person who wants emotional fulfillment. They want to be happy. So there could be something new here. I do see an energy of uh, waiting patiently for something new. Investing in something new. But it's also an energy of someone waiting for the right time, waiting for the right opportunity. Tell me one more on the Knight of Cups and we'll let this go because I feel this is one of these unfinished business kind of energies so uh, knight of cups why is this here for Virgo why is this here I feel like you're taking your time I feel like it's yourself taking your time moving slow looking at the details you're apprehensive about whether this will be successful teamwork cooperation compromise compatibility going down this path someone needs to compromise this is someone who's already uh, compromised they've already kind of bent over backwards they've sacrificed and they're no longer doing it uh, this is someone who wants love. They want emotional fulfillment. Uh, commitment. They want to build a foundation. This is a person who's actually pretty happy. Very strong. Very confident. Uh, this is someone very confident here. Mm -hmm. But somebody here isn't very confident. So let's have a look at that six of wands. There we go. So there's a little rose. So it is about success. It's about starting something. It's about reaching out. Uh, reciprocating I see the letter H uh, there's that long-term commitment long-term relationship but it's also about manifesting and it's also about the strength see it's somebody who needs to gain, gain the strength to reach out they need to feel more confident Let's see what this world is I see an E an F first and last initials be anything yeah there's the glasses this is about seeing someone's looking for some kind of clarity see they're in their head uh, strategizing over analyzing trying to find some kind of clarity they're trying to see something here um, ehf uh, there's the word love see it's about seeing it's something to do with love it has to do with love it has to do with somebody reciprocating sharing their feelings and emotions and then we have, there's two hearts, see? Two hearts coming together. Two people building each other up by cooperating and compromising. Somebody isn't definitely uh, going to take another risk. I feel somebody already did. Yeah. I see an I. An H. It's an H again. And there's the heart. So it has to do with love. Two people cooperating for love compromising it's also an energy of compatibility things that you have in common it's collaborating you see and we have the sun so there's the energy of the see someone's circling back around they're coming back around to start something new but they're not so sure if somebody has moved on okay they're not so sure so I do feel like we got someone who's waiting for the right opportunity. They're waiting for some kind of clarity. They're waiting to see if someone has started something new. Okay. Um, we have the yin and yang. So uh, there's definitely an energy of two people who are very much the same, but yet different. So there's definitely an energy of balance, but it's an energy of commitment. Circling back around, starting something new. It could be a starting over energy or just something, someone coming in with a whole new energy. Uh, we have the R, so there it is. Someone putting their best foot forward, stepping into new. You see, we got 
someone's, someone's ready, you know, waiting patiently for someone to invest. And if they don't, they're going to start something new. You know, it could be someone here who's got a couple options, possibilities. But it could be a person who's just in their head thinking these things. Like I say, it's a, a fantasizing, you know, looking at all the possibilities. Too much thinking, not enough action. So we have the Knight of Pentacles. So we definitely have an energy of abundance. So there is definitely a lot of abundance here. This is someone enjoying the fruits of their labors, but slow and steady wins the race. But someone's moving too slow. The other person's tired of waiting. Now there's the key. There's a P. Those keys can be anything. If you take the time to think and let it play out, they mean something different, I feel, for everyone. Unless it becomes very clear, a lot of times it's not clear. It's just a key. It's a key to something. The key to the abundance. Uh, the key to getting things to go in your favor is to stop trying to control, over control your emotions. Stop trying to control the speed at which things go and just let it evolve naturally. Just let it be. You see? Yeah. It's about letting go of control issues. You have a person here who's very logical. Somebody who thinks with their head over their heart, you see, and that's the problem. Uh, someone needs to, um, you know, balance the two out. Think with their head and their heart here. And then we have an F and a Q. The Q to me is timing. Right on Q, right on time. You see, someone's waiting. Only going to wait for so much longer here. That energy of being patient, waiting for someone to invest, to start something. Yeah, there's an N. I see the star. So there's two stars. So this is two people who adore each other, admire each other. But it's also an energy of someone who, it's some Aquarius energy. It's an energy of someone who's releasing, going to willingly let go of someone and start something new. It's a person who wants to have success. There's something about this truth uh, to success uh, between these two people. It says we got a person who likes to be chased. They're used to being chased. They're not used to having to be the one to chase someone else. But Queen of Wands ain't moving. Queen of Wands will chase if they want to. Uh, but then, it, you know, like I say, this is someone who's uh, making choices in love here. See, making a choice uh, to possibly move on from somebody here and move towards someone new. I see a Y and there's a communication. So there's definitely that energy of the little bird, the communication between two people. It has to do with love. It has to do with reciprocity. Okay. So I don't have no idea what this is all about. Um, but it's definitely an energy of stepping into something new. Someone putting their best foot forward. And it's about building that foundation. Starting things off on the right foot. Something here didn't start off on the right foot. Okay. The, it's an energy where the foundation's not solid. And I'm surprised I haven't seen the tower come down here. <laughs> Yeah. All right. Yeah. You never know till you try. Win or lose. There it is right there. So if you're waiting for this person or you're the person who's back and forth in your head trying to figure out what to do, you're overanalyzing it. It's telling you to just move away from that energy. Just go with the flow. Let things evolve. Don't try to control it. Because you will lose control. Okay. So take care. Wish you the best. Bye for now.